You can count on begins with Casey Cagle's campaign responding to what was supposed to be an off the record conversation. News Channel 6's Samantha Williams sat down with Clay Tippins, the man on the other end of the phone and former governor candidate who didn't make the cut in the Republican primary. Samantha has more now. Jenny, Republican Clay Tippins tells me Casey Cagle reached out to him after the primaries back in May for an endorsement. That's when Tippins went to his campaign office, his phone in pocket, and secretly recorded the conversation. What Tippins says it all boils down to is money. So recognize that we have to work every single day. This is not about Casey Cagle. This is about the style of government that Casey Cagle represents. Clay Tippins, who came in fourth place in the Republican primary for governor, wanted answers from Casey Cagle before endorsing his campaign. You can hear in this recording Cagle admitting to back what he says is a bad education policy, all to keep a rival from getting campaign money. I said, Lindsay, you need to understand, I want, I mean, this bill's going to happen. I mean, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Because I had to to keep the money away from Hunter. Yeah. It's a bill Tippin says Cagle has shut down in previous years. A policy to raise the cap on tax credits for private school scholarships to $100 million. Is it bad public policy between me and you? It is. And I can tell you how it is a thousand different ways. Tippin says he has not endorsed Brian Kemp, Cagle's Republican opponent. We reached out to Cagle's campaign. They did send us a statement alleging Kemp's involvement in that leaked conversation. Here's a part. It is clear now that he colluded with a losing candidate to unethically record a private conversation. That's one thing Brian Kemp is consistent about. He's constantly releasing public information. And feel free to secretly record me saying this. Brian Kemp is incompetent and untrustworthy. And now we know he is corrupt too. Uh, I was aware that what I did was going to be hard and come with criticism. Um, but I can look my family, myself, and, and, and God and, and say I did what I think was the right thing to do and called to do, and I sleep well at night over it. Also in the statement issued by Cagle's campaign, quote, I guess you will do anything when you want to take the attention from the fact that Lieutenant Colonel Ollie North is coming to Georgia to campaign for Casey and highlight that the NRA has endorsed Casey, end quote. And Governor Nathan Deal announced his support for the Lieutenant Governor today as well.